like weird universe that we didn't know existed. It's like the sugar world. The sugar world. I mean, okay, so it's basically like sugar babies, sugar daddies, cougars, cubs, um, Wait, sugar everyone, mamas. Like, I think everyone's heard of a sugar daddy, of right? Of course, everyone's like, heard of it. It's but a like, common like thing. But do like, people it's a joke know almost. what it is? Like, they're like, oh, I'm just gonna go find myself a sugar daddy. <laughs> but like, people actually have sugar daddies, and like, I think we don't really understand like what it comes no. with, and like. We have been so invested in this topic that we have searched the hills high Mm -hmm. and low. Because no one wants to talk about it. It's something that's like very secretive. Yeah. And we have found a sugar baby who is a listener of ours that we wanted to make sure her sugar baddy daddy experience Mm -hmm. is excelled to the highest (laughs) count that it could be. We need to know from her what the fuck is going on in this secret sugar world. That we know nothing about. So you guys are getting an exclusive fucking look into a sugar baby's daily activities in this week's episode because we have literally hunted one down, <laughs> paid her rent to find <laughs> out. We found one in the wild. Yeah, we found one in the a wild of rails and we've figured out what the fuck is going on in this world that we didn't know before. And we are going to learn a shit ton of stuff today. Yeah. Okay, so just really quick. What do you think? Like a sugar daddy. Go ahead. Give me your background of what you think it is. Okay. I think a sugar daddy is somebody that you sleep with in exchange for like they buy you a Gucci bag. My version of it is I think it's like a 190 year old man who like wants to walk around with some hot piece of ass. Basically, Hugh Hefner walking around with Holly Madison and um, he just basically is flaunting her and she's going to go take all of his assets as soon as he dies. That's my version of a sugar daddy. I know nothing about it. Like, the word sugar daddy, I feel like, is very common. It's kind of used as, like, a joke. Do you know what I mean? It's, like, a pun for, like, anybody, like, oh, that's your sugar. Like, if, even if you're or dating like, a rich guy. I've used it so many times when yeah. I'm, like, oh, my God, rent is tight this month. I guess I'm going to call my daddy. sugar daddy. Yes. Like, but I've never but been there's, serious. There's actually a world of this that exists. And, like, sugar babies and you and there's like And there's, like, a fucking demographic. And there's a way of rules that apply to it. And, yeah. like, we don't know anything about it like i'm guess i'm curious like how one just gets thrown into this universe and like do you go out looking for one or do you just stumble right, upon one right. or is somebody just like you're i don't know a nurse and like you're like oh you're about to die let me make friends with you like i don't know how it works like that's it's actually so brilliant cr- yeah <laughs> by the way i think the hospital right i think now. i just discovered the next nursing technique <laughs> um it's like crazy to me. I just don't know how it works, and I'm so enamored by things I don't because understand. Because you do hear that, like, sh- you know, there are sugar daddies that like will spend like good, like just literally buy you whatever you want. But the thing is, nobody talks about it. Nobody yeah. talks about it, and even if they know somebody who's one, like it's very hush hush. Like nobody knows the ins and outs of it. And we have somebody calling in today who's going to deliver. Okay, they're going to fucking sign seal deliver i'm yours this bitch so just so you guys know like how shady this whole process is is we got someone to talk about it but we cannot use her real name and no. you are not going to be hearing her real voice she's going to be calling in and she's going to should we get her right now i can't wait oh, can we just call her now let's like do it. let's stop like introducing her and call her. Right. so anyway madison welcome to bad examples Thank you for having me. Thank you for calling in. This yeah. is a struggle trying to find somebody who is willing to call in. So we, I kind of want to start off because we um, were so lucky enough to get you to be open and honest with us on the show. And I thought it was really interesting. We said, like, you know, could you possibly get like one of your baby friends um, on to talk about their experience? And they kind of freaked out, right? Yes. Um, I actually have a lot of friends that uh that are real heavy into this scene and it's um i they almost took it like offensively because i feel that a lot of people look at this negatively and you know i really don't think that it's a negative thing right it's i find it i don't know i i guess you know because we told them like we'll disguise your voice and they still like were very anti i feel like some of them may be like this is like what i do and i don't really want to like not expose it but like make it into something that it's not so they're like worried like I'd maybe mm. they thought like we were gonna do it in like a derogatory way, but really. Uh, maybe, but I think that um, you know I enjoy what I do. I'm you know like I was saying another time. You know, I think a lot of people do it for free. So. <laughs> right. Uh, I sure do. Same. Yeah. <laughs> Wives do it for free every day. So, so Madison, let me ask. Let me start from the beginning. Okay. How okay. How old are you? I am going to be 33. Mm, what a sexy, perfect age. Yeah. It's like the 30s are so exciting. 
Yeah, because they are. I think every year gets better, especially when you're doing this. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, you, you're making this really intriguing. Like, and we just started talking. Okay. So how how does one like become a sugar baby? Like, how long have you been a sugar baby? Okay, let me think back. I started doing this. Um, uh, in my case, it's kind of rare too because I really had only mostly like the same sugar daddy for years and years. And oh. I started doing this about seven years ago, and um. Yeah, he's really he's really good. I mean, he pays for everything. He bought me a car, pays for my rent. I mean, I don't really, I don't do too much um, because he's just so good to me with everything. But I met him actually by chance uh, when I was out one night. And um, yeah, he told me he didn't like my car and he thought I needed a better vehicle. <laughs> wow. wow. I'm fucking shooketh. What a man, what a man. Wait, yeah. Okay, hold on. So let me just rewind for a second here because I really need to like put myself in your shoes. So you're out at a restaurant one night and some guys like pick up line that you need a better car. And were you like, at first were you like, okay, whatever. Like, who's this guy? Like, who the hell is he? Or did you know right away that he had money? Um, Well, I mean, I had a lot of friends actually that are more based on the West Coast that, you know, do this a lot. And um, they're always, they're constantly out like, with rich guys and like all the hot spots in like Beverly Hills. And you know, they would always have like nice like bags and shoes and like, you know, guys always taking care of them, always on private jets. And I'm like, you know what? Like I want I want that stuff. Like why can't I do that? It's a little bit different here than in California. I think people have a lot more money out there and are more willing to drop it on superficial things. But um definitely uh, I was like, you know what? So then you know I started started copying kind of what my friends were doing, like in a way. I kind of um started to watch like what they did and you know and like they taught me a lot too they told me you know you, to attract like a guy like that you want to try and like you want to look a certain way that you think like a guy with money wants you to look and i was you know i was really cool so I'm like what does that mean like i don't know you know mm-hmm. but um a retracer are looking at each other our eyes are bulging out of our yeah. heads <laughs> i wanted to learn from my friends you know what they were doing and they kind of one of our friends um took me under her wing and she was like you know if you want to attract one of those guys you have to you know look a certain you have to look like one of the girls that they would want to be seen out with so i kind of like so i got a nice bag i got a nice pair of heels and i started hanging out in like better places mm-hmm. it's genius why Absolutely are we not doing genius. that why am i going to the pub what's wrong with me yeah <laughs> wait so okay so you said like um so like like name brand designer um because they yeah, know well, that I bought my first designer bag myself um so i got a little louis vuitton bag and like a nice pair of heels because the whole thing is that you want to look like you know like guys want you see. right right and you also want to look you know you don't want to look like you're looking for a sugar daddy but it, there's certain ways to identify them when you're out like they're, <sighs> they're looking for a certain type of girls too okay, okay wait, wait, wait hold on wait tell us right how now. The, what? how do you identify a sugar daddy Okay, well, I'll give you an example, because this is where you can meet a lot of them. Rail Steakhouse in New Jersey. What? Uh, BRB on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, why? How do you know that? Um, Because I have I have met a lot of rich guys over there. Because, um, like, again, for example, like, it's a more up place. It's like a hip place, but also it's not, like, it's distinguishable. It's not, like... You know, iron bar and mark them. You know what I mean? You're not going to find a sugar daddy there. No, yeah, no, I get it. Um, you, I feel like also that area is very expensive. It's like, um, what is it called? Franklin Lakes and all that. It's all, that's a really expensive area, no? So that's like where they're going as like a casual hangout spot. However, you guys have spotted them, figured it out. Like you guys are almost like tracking them, correct? Yeah. The daddies are being tracked. Yep. I, oh my God, that would be great. It would be better if there was just like an app with like a GPS where it tells you where they are. But um, BRB, yeah. I'm creating it. So all the guys that are, you know, you want to go also like I would say like mid thirties or up, you know, because they they're, they're kind of established by that point. Or if you get really lucky, some of them have family money. Yeah, uh, old smart. money, old money that's not theirs. They're more willing to spend because it was passed they down, it. and they feel my grandfather would have been loving for me to be having yeah. this. Don't forget, guys, 
New Clipped Air every Thursday. So see you next Thursday. Hosted on dimlywit.com. Even though we are not your best examples, uh, we're the best you've got. So cheers, bitches. Cheers. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for updates. And if you like this clip, share it with a friend.